This is Goose, a Tennessee walking horse. This painting will provide practice in creating smooth applications of all different kinds of browns and grays. And we'll only need a couple different colors. So touch and lift. And I'm taking it into that little triangular shape because this will dry lighter in value. Okay, I just keep touching and lifting. And as I move over here now, I just need to stay away from that area. I'm gonna touch it in here again. You can take it right over the pupil. You don't really need to take it up there. Grab the edge of it and pull it into that lighter area. And if you feel like it, you could touch in a bit more. Now rinse your brush and wipe it on the towel and just go right over that edge. Pull the color into the white of the paper to create a smooth transition. I'll lay it in over the darker areas and this is creating a pretty dull brown right now. Move this around, go over the darker areas. Basically, I'm taking this color anywhere that is a darker brown. Now I wanna soften that edge. Now you can pull this color upward a little higher after you soften. I'm going to take it just a little higher. Works best when you use a larger brush. This is going everywhere. This is very, very pale because I want this application to match the lightest brown that I see, which is like right there, for example. I'm filling the brush with color since we're working in a larger area. Use a gentle touch and the previous colors will stay in place. A very pale blue. 
can always go darker. I like to lay the color in the center of the shape and then pull it and guide it where I'd like it to go. And this is appearing to be a very dull blue right now, but when you go darker in value, it will become more of an intense blue. So this is going everywhere. Lay the color in the center and then move it and guide it around. a touching motion along this edge so that that edge appears a little rough. Just taper it out thinner and then where is it the darkest? About there. I'm pulling the color. I'm creating the shape that I think I see in the photo. The shape of the darker parts. gently over this area. I'll take it right over the hair and now before that has time to dry I'll just soften into the hair okay so we don't have any dark lines. Use a light touch and the previous colors will stay in place. When you get down to the lower area, you could soften into the white of the paper. Just placing a glaze over the hair. You can just bring out some little hairs here and there.
I'm using a very light touch. I'm barely touching the brush to the paper. And there's just a tiny bit of color on the brush. So lay in the color and then I'll touch the edge of the color to soften it. Just touching the very edge. Soften it there. And up there. painting could be finished.